So the dragons, another one of these earth animals, great year for a dragon. Now, before I start with the dragons, there are also, I just talked about the travel animals. These um, four animals uh, that I'm going to tell you right now, if you have more than one of these animals in your chart, then you have what's called a self-sabotaging energy. It's just too much strong earth. By the way, a dragon, who, who's got a dragon in their chart? Wow. Wow. So first of all, you typically are very spiritual. You are the only animal in the zodiac that is not a real animal. It's a mystical animal. All of them are, they're, you know, farm animals or pets or whatever. Um, the dragon is ever power, ever knowing, right? Because they, they rise above us. So what, um, we don't want to have more than one in your chart, though. So does anyone sitting here have more than one dragon in your chart? Okay, so here's the fix. Here's the fix. I got a fix for you. Um, it's self-sabotaging. So some of these were I saying the clash animals and the combining animals. You do this to yourself. No one's doing it to you. So your MO is if somebody is getting confrontational with you or forcing you into a corner or whatever, you just step back and you say, let me get back to you. Do not make snap decisions, because it will probably get you in trouble. Can you think back in times of your life when you went, uh-oh? I mean, we all do that, right? But typically, <laughs> you're the ones that are going to do that more. So look also in your luck cycle in uh, three or four years when the dragon year comes. If you've got, does anybody have more than two dragons in their chart? You have three dragons. Woohoo! <laughs> so, so when you, <laughs> but very powerful lady there. I know her. She's a very powerful lady. So what you need to do is you just need to just, just temper your decision making a little bit and make smarter decisions versus snap decisions. And then really think things over a couple of times before you, you make any, you know, any big moves, right? any big moves. That will be a really smart thing for you to do. Um, okay, but now, uh, let me tell you about the other ones, though. If you have more than one horse in your chart, if you have more than one pig in your chart, more than one rooster in your chart, or more than one dragon, those are the four what's called self-sabotaging animals. So again, same strategy, just be careful about how you make your big moves, even small ones, because small ones can turn into mountains. Okay. But let's go back to the greatness. All right, four stars for dragons. Woo um, so a very great, great year for them. Um, you're going to feel a little bit more confident, but don't get so overconfident and cocky for you that held up your hands high. Um, so it's going to be increase in sales, improving your marketing. Those are the things I want you to focus on especially. And also that you're going to feel a little bit more creative. Like you can create anything this year. And, and for those of you who have dragons in your chart, one or multiples, uh, if you don't feel like you're creative, this may be the year like that idea just surface up. And if you don't have any ideas, again, the inner reflection is what's going to start bringing that. You got to just whew, stop for a moment. I mean, you know, putting on an event like this, I'm telling you, these last few days, I haven't had even time to like almost sleep and whatever you know, human needs that you need to do. I mean, it's just like constantly go, go, go. But when I'm able to just like stop and reflect, I get so many ideas. So that's what I really want you to think about this year is how you can do that. And so um, this could be the year that you write that book or, hey, I've always wanted to take a dance class or I've always wanted to pick up art or sculpting. Sculpting is good because it's with clay, right? Um, but or even metal that would be, you know, carve, you know, carving anything on a metal that would be um, good or um, uh, that kind of thing. So crafting, scrapbooking, whatever, whatever to bring out that creativity that you stop from your normal like hamster wheel like drivenness about yourself and just stop and then try to get some creative flow going for you. So in the end, it's going to bring bring out some good things for you.
So this is this is one of the animals that is kind of do spend some time alone in in reflection. As far as business is concerned, you're um, going to get some really great opportunities and clearly heading in a good direction. You're going to, and, and what I want you to do with, with some of your visioning, you might be able to do a little bit of it today when we're doing our goal setting, is really look at the end of this year, like what, and, and you know, there's a kind of a new saying that's coming out, like, you know, we over, we underestimate what we can do in three years, but under, uh, oh, um, over, underestimate what we can do in three years, overestimate what we can do in a year. So what I want you to do is really start expanding like out a couple of years, thinking with that end in mind and then reverse engineer up what you can create this year. But um, if you do that, then you're gonna he head in a much clearer just direction. Um, but you're gonna have so many opportunities and this is where the double dragons are gonna come into play is choosing the right one because they're just going to come out of nowhere. So be discerning. I'll get back with you as your MO. I'm going to think about it. And then maybe I got this good advice um, uh, from someone that had told me always get three opinions. It was a, um, an accountant that I had when I was living on the East Coast as well. And he said, always get three opinions, like a trusted like legal, like either a bookkeeper or a, uh, or excuse me, your CPA or your lawyer, um, a very, very trusted um, either family or friend that will give you the truth. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And they're all like, that's crazy. Like get a trusted friend that will tell you the truth. And then, you know, get that third person. I consider myself that third person because I can see what's in your chart. But th get, get three opinions if you're, if you're on the fence about something because you're going to have a lot of opportunities. Pick the right one. Okay. Because, um, you know, once you have the opportunity, then it's your work to develop it and put it into something that's manageable. So going to be expansion. There's going to be promotions. There's going to be higher paying deals for you this year. But it's also going to be more work. So you have to get your energy level to the point where you're going to be able to expand with that um, happening along the way. So for you, it's a step-by-step -step process. That's why I want you to think about the end. And then we're here at the beginning of the year. How are you going to take the steps to get there? Okay? All right. Then let's see. I had this one a couple years ago. I love this one. Um, so, and by the way, some of these, uh, many of these, like you're going to get this, the, uh, the, what I'm telling you, like you're going to get them this year and they're not coming back for another 12 years. So that's why I'm saying, don't write on this information like, oh, that was a fun day. <laughs> and then next year it's like, but wait a minute, I was going to do What's going to do is not a strategy. That's, that's stupid. That's a waste of time. Okay. So anyway, um, you have a really great opportunity to gain power, authority. Um, you may become an influencer in your field this year. So um, think about that and get that um, kind of promotional engine working for you. Um, and then make efforts to build your brand. That's going to be really important. And then help elevate your status so that income um, kind of follows along, okay? Um, all right, so here are some challenges. Um, this is kind of a two-sided sword on this one. Your intuitive skills are going to rise, but you're also going to start kind of seeing and feeling things from other people, which can kind of seem a little creepy, <laughs> but um, but um, just kind of like discern like what is kind of um, real or what's superstition. So yes, intuition is going to rise, but also your suspicion is going to rise. So really kind of discern which is which, right? So you don't get yourself in trouble um, with that. Um, if you're signing any kind of contracts this year, contracts today are like, I mean, uh, you know, it's like, here, just sign here, just sign here, just sign here, just sign here. 
know what you're signing. If you don't know what you're signing, um, ask them. And if they can't explain it to you, I'd be suspicious. So that's a good suspicion. <laughs> so watch about that. So check all of your, your documents and communications and, and things like that. And then um, you also are going to have to watch a little bit for um, the gossipy people. So there's a couple of animals this year, especially, that are going to have to look at that. Gossip. Gossip, back, backstabbing people. All right, so um, then we have, um, you're going to have some wealth that's going to follow through. But obviously, when you're putting systems in place, processes in place, something new, typically you're spending money versus receiving money. So just know in the end, it's going to work out for you, but you do have to um, look at that. So just watch a little bit about your investments and overspending at the beginning because it might seem like a tight year. It's like, well, she told me I had all these opportunities. Yes, you are. Choosing the right ones is going to be the great strategy. Number two is making sure that, you know, you kind of, um, you know, budget for that as well. Career opportunities, like I said, really vast. Um, so keep your eye on the target as far as that's concerned. Um, relationships this year for the dragons, it's going to be a bit neutral. Um, so um, you're going to have to um, probably focus more on your career than your um, uh, career than, than um, the relationships this year. And the biggest thing, again, uh, uh, Earth um, in the dragons is the biggest thing is the expanded waistline. So, you know, just kind of watch if you can a little bit what you're eating because that may happen a little bit. You might want to work with a nutritionist or something. Okay, can we go to that next slide? Um, so for the dragons, the rooster is a best friend for the dragons. So they're going to have a very nice time together. And then as far as the three harmony, we have the monkey, dragon, and rat. Remember, we're going to start seeing some repeats now as we go forward. So these are the ones that are going to do really well. And then um, the clash animal is the dragon. Okay? Guys doing okay? Dog, sorry. Hi, I'm Sue Wilhite with Positively Success, and I met Kathleen about six months ago, and just in casual conversation, the information that she gave me changed things for me and helped me to see going forward what some changes I needed to make in my business. Listening to the webinars that she provided free of charge also gave me incredible information, things to watch out for, things to go for, was amazing. And I decided that it was well worth taking an entire Saturday to spend the time to come to this event today where I've just signed up for the Time Blazer system. And I expect that to be phenomenal for my business in 2020.